The words of Dylan Thomas made new once again. Here's your flask and here's your shoots and here's your pot of boot like earth and now I'm pouring liquid droops. Set to the music and beat style of the 1950s New York where he toured, performed today back home in Swansea. A hint of many interpretations to come in a year-long festival called Dylan Thomas 100. You've got an education programme, we've got an international programme, we've got the arts in Wales being celebrated and this is an opportunity to celebrate my grandfather's work more and more. It also aims to bring tourists to the place he called an ugly, lovely town. Yesterday, Swansea missed out on the chance to become UK City of Culture for 2017. But there will be plenty of cultural celebration here over the next year in honour of this city's favourite son. It's all building up to the 100th anniversary of his birth here at number five, Cumdonkin Drive, in October 1914. His other home of Larne is also heavily involved. The festival will go around Wales and overseas. Under Milkwood will even tour as an opera. Thomas wrote it as a radio play. Richard Burton starred in the film. The camps and bonnets, the white gym shoes, the bottles and the mildew king, the singing mortuary and the rose of Tralee. Peter Blake's illustrations of that imaginary village go on display tonight in Cardiff, proof he continues to inspire artists of all kinds. People will be alerted to, to his memory and to his, to his legacy. You know, poets never die. They never die. Their words live forever. Fitting then that she chose to read today the words Dylan Thomas wrote for his dying father. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Over the next 12 months, those words will reach a wider audience still. Tom Sheldrick, ITV News. The town was not yet awake. The milkman lay still, lost in the clangour and mists of his Welsh-spoken dreams. Dylan Thomas reading his most famous work, and now under Milkwood, has been brought to life in this exhibition to mark a hundred years since the man who wrote it was born. It's the first of dozens of events to celebrate Dylan's work. What I hope it doesn't do is, is um, and I don't think it can, is, is upstage Dylan Thomas. It's not meant to do that. I mean, you, you could still buy a book without illustrations and read it and, and enjoy it as a play. But I think, I hope I've added something to it that's separate. The programme for the year-long festival was unveiled at the Dylan Thomas Centre in Swansea this morning. From exhibitions to live performances, from tours to workshops, it's hoped there'll be something for everyone. Encouraging visitors to walk in Dylan's footsteps is another aim. It is going to be a fantastic marketing tool for us because in terms of the distinctiveness and, and what it says about uh, uh, our national culture, um, it is going to be very valuable and will give us a platform we can promote Wales from in, uh, in the rest of the UK and indeed internationally. Five come Donkin Drive in Swansea will certainly be a busy place over the next year or so. This is where Dylan Thomas was brought up, a stone's throw from Cumdonkin Park. And the park itself was a world within the world of the sea town. Quite near where I lived, so near that on summer evenings I could listen in my bed to the voices of older children. Dylan's home and the surrounding area were a source of inspiration for a budding bard. From the age of four, Dylan went into his father's study. He was read Shakespeare. He started to write poetry. He soaked up everything his father gave him. And so this house and his little bedroom, his first writing room, the room where he uh, was safe, his kutch, the, they're a hugely important parts of Dylan, Dylan and understanding of Dylan. Dylan's work has, in turn, gone on to inspire so many others, including the National Poet for Wales, who gave a reading at this morning's event. All of the old rules, all of the old rules were broken, except the most important rule of all, and that is music. It's so musical and also perfect observation and perfect sound. Dylan Thomas died in New York aged 39, 60 years to the week since his body was brought home to Wales. A celebration of his colourful life is about to get underway.